One of the premier events at the Summer Olympics in Paris this summer is women's gymnastics. That's right. Team USA with Simone Biles, of course, leading the way is favored to win team gold once again. And then today, new news. We learned that Gabby Douglas is hoping to join Simone on the team and compete with her this summer in Paris. Yep, you heard it. Gabby returning to her first competition in eight years. That'll be in Louisville later this month. I never really announced a retirement. I just loved, I, I didn't want to end the sport how I did in 2016. I wanted to take a step back and work on myself and work on my mental state. And I love gymnastics. I, like I said, I love pushing myself uh, every single day and I love the sport. So I never wanted to walk away on a bad day. And I want to make sure, and I know I've said it before, but I really want to make sure that I really give it my all and end on a, a good note. And honestly, like I'm super, uh, just so grateful for everyone showing me love and support. It's really, really motivating and I'm just super grateful. <laughs> Oh, she looks so happy and energized there. She is going to be the oldest gymnast competing. And you know what? That is a trend that USA Gymnastics says they're seeing at the women's elite level. Well, today we exclusively talked with the head of USA Gymnastics, which is headquartered right here in Indianapolis, and we talked about Gabby's comeback. The sport of gymnastics is really, really unusual for someone to stop training for a number of years and then come back. Simone did it for a couple years and she came back better than ever. And uh, so Gabby's been out of, out of it longer than that even. That's very unusual to see, but it, it's, it's historic. She's 28 years old. She's coming back to make a, a go for the Olympics. And I think she's gonna be tremendous. Do you think she has a shot? I, I believe that she has a shot, just like so many other gymnasts who are vying for a spot on the Olympic team. One of our blessings, as I said before, is that we have a lot of depth and talent. Yeah, they got about 10 girls that are competing, wow. ladies, women, I should say. If she were to make the team, this would be Gabby's third Olympics. It also will be Simone's third Olympics. Mm. And Simone came back after about a two-year break. Okay. She's 26 years old. Mm. Gabby's 28 years old. Now, typically, wow. we've seen this in men's gymnastics, that the men are in their 20s, later 20s, older. and the, the women were more 16, 17, 18. But that's changing. The men are now younger and the women mm. are now older. Well, older and wiser and perhaps better equipped to handle it. The Absolutely. Pressure. Yeah, mentally. But then also when I was talking with um, the head of USA Gymnastics, she said she believes it's a real testament to the quality of the training mm. and uh, some of the health and wellness support that they're getting, that they're able to compete at this elite level. <sighs> globally mm -hmm. at these older ages for a longer period of time. That's amazing. Yes, I mean, yeah. and just look at, I mean, 28, still so young. <laughs> yeah. you know, and yes. look at how early they start. She first went to the Olympics at age 16. Yes, yes, and last competed in 2016. Mm -hmm. So go Gabby. Yeah. I know there's a lot of Gabby Douglas fans here in Indianapolis. If you would like to see her compete, it will be February 24th in Louisville. So okay. an easy drive, very accessible to see some really high level gymnastics competition. Always Grace's favorite. Mm -hmm. yes. So go Gabby. Yeah. Uh,